Imagine you want to install a new software for your task, but that software might have some dependencies. In that case, you will need to install those dependencies first. So today we will explore the easiest way to handle dependencies using DPKG in Ubuntu. But do you know what dependencies are? Let's think of them as the building blocks that a software program needs to function properly. They are like the tools a program relies on to work correctly, just as you need bricks to build a house. Now, starting with the idea of DPKG, which stands for Debian Package, is a package management system used by Debian-based distributions like Ubuntu. It's a powerful tool that handles the installation, removal, and management of individual software packages on your system. However, when you install a package with DPKG, any dependencies required by that package must be installed manually. Now, let's put this knowledge into practice. I will show you how to install TeamViewer using DPKG. And for your information, all the commands and website links used in this video will be added in the description box. So don't forget to check it out. To get started, open a browser and go to the website of TeamViewer. Scroll down and here you can see the Ubuntu version. Download the 64-bit package. The download is done. Now, to confirm the download, check the download folder. Here you can see the downloaded file. You can also check it from the terminal. Just open the terminal and enter the command ls downloads. And this is the downloaded Debian file of TeamViewer. Now let's start the installation process. Enter the command sudo dpkg-i, the folder name downloads, and the file name, I am copying it from the terminal. Here, you may need to update the TeamViewer version if it gets a new update. Now hit the enter button, providing my password. You can see we encountered two dependency error as TeamViewer depends on libminizip1 and libxcb zenorama0. These two packages are not installed, so we have to install these two packages first. Now we will install libminizip from their website. For that, open the browser and paste their website link. Don't worry, I will provide all the links in the description box. And here you can see, after providing the link, the libminizip one is downloaded automatically. So let's check it from the terminal. Again, ls and downloads. And here you can see, libminizip one is already in the downloaded folder. Now to install the package, enter the command sudo dpkg dash i downloads and the package name i am again copying it from the terminal and hit enter libminizip1 is now installed successfully now for the second package type sudo app install and the package name i am copying the package name from the terminal and paste and now hitting enter So it's also done. Now let's give TeamViewer another try. Run the previous command from the history and hit enter. And now you can see that TeamViewer is installed successfully. Let's check it. Open the application bar and search for TeamViewer. And yes, here you can see TeamViewer is already here. Now click on this. And you can see TeamViewer is running successfully. So you have to do all the setup and you can start using TeamViewer. Now let's come to the dependency verification. Sometimes more dependency may arise when installing a dependency. It's called the recursive dependency. It can be challenging to keep track of these packages. DPKG shows different types of status flags that you can use to justify the dependency installation, such as double L status flag for confirming the installation and configuration. The RC status flag indicates that the package is removed but configuration files are still present. Then the UN status flag, it confirms the package is not installed. And finally, the RI status flag that indicates installation is broken and its files have been partially installed, waiting for a reinstallation to fix the issue. As I made to dependency error, I want to check if it is successfully installed or not. For that, type dpkg 
and the package name. I am copying the package name from the terminal. If you face only one dependency error, then you can hit enter now. But as I had two dependency error, I will check all packages with the single command. So space and the second package name, which was libxcb zenorema0. Again, right click and paste. And now hitting on the enter button. And here you can see double a status flag for both of these packages, which means it is successfully installed and configured. Not always, but sometimes during installation, you can get an error message, like package architecture does not match the system. That means you are trying to install a file that's not suitable for your hardware. In that case, you can check your hardware architecture. For that, just enter the command dpkg dash dash print dash architecture. And see, this is my architecture. So I must download the Debian packages that are suitable for AMD64. That's all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to learn more about this, don't forget to check out the article linked in the description box. Also, you can check out our YouTube channel for more videos related to Linux. Thanks for watching.